Family drama played out in court this morning as this Oakland County mother is sent to jail. Rebecca Bredo signed an agreement with her son's father to get the child vaccinated, but has refused to do so. While she wanted to make this battle about vaccinations, the judge was focused on her refusal to follow legal orders. I stand here today scared and vulnerable, begging the court to understand that I'm not a lazy parent. I'm a passionate mother who cares deeply about my children, their health, and their well-being. I understand you love your children, but what I don't think you understand is that your son has two parents and dad gets a say. Well, the case has grabbed national attention. Paula Tutman gives us a closer look at the passionate views on both sides of this ongoing debate. James Horn said through his attorney as he walked through a gauntlet of angry protesters that this is a private family matter, but his, this has become anything but. Rebecca Bredo will spend seven days in jail for contempt of court for not getting her nine-year-old son vaccinated, even after signing a consent agreement with the child's father, James Horn, who says he has every intention of getting the child inoculated and up to date. Today, Rebecca was led in handcuffs to begin her jail time. So I'm sentencing you to seven days in jail, and I also award dad temporary physical custody while you are incarcerated and until enough time has passed for him to bring your son's vaccinations up to date as rapidly as medically necessary. It is a case that has stirred passions about the controversy of vaccinations. Outside angry protesters, including David McDowell, who says his triplets were healthy one moment and not the next. Medical professionals told us that they were ahead of schedule developmentally. And uh, we took them in for their nine month uh, doctor visit. They got the pneumococcal shot. By the end of that day, they were all autistic. She, I mean, I recognize it because I came home and my daughter didn't recognize me. Tasha says she believes vaccinations should be a matter of choice. I believe every parent needs to do their own research and come up with the game plan that's right for their family, whether it's a delayed schedule, a full schedule, None at all. Shane Byes, administrator for Oakland County's Health Division, says not getting proper immunizations puts the entire population at risk. There's been a lot and a lot of research done to disprove the association of autism and in any kind of vaccinations. If you have enough people vaccinated against that disease, they can actually protect people who aren't vaccinated. That's something called herd immunity. And uh, that's something that when that vaccine rate drops, it increases the chance that that herd immunity won't be there to protect those people who aren't vaccinated. Paula Tutman, Local 4.